म्यूट राहुल इज माय स्क्रीन विजिबल सर राइट स्क्रीन विजिबल ऑडियो ऑडिबल यस सर ओके सो ग्रीटिंग्स टू द चेयरमैन एआई कमिटी सी उमेश शर्मा सर एंड माय हीरो वाइस चेयरमैन सी ए दया निवास सर जूरी मेंबर सी ए सुमित दयानी सर एंड ऑल माय फेलो पैनलिस्ट आई एम सी ए राहुल बत्रा एंड आई आई एम एक्साइटेड टू वॉक थ्रू यू अ गेम चेंजिंग अप्रोच फॉर अपकमिंग टेस्ट सीजन दैट इज बाय स्ट्रीमलाइजिंग टेस्ट सीजन थ्रू माय यूज केस डिजिटाइज ऑर्गेनाइज एंड ऑप्टिमाइज ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग डॉक्यूमेंट कलेक्शन इन टेक्स प्रैक्टिस लेट्स बिगिन बाय एक्नोलेजिंग द करेंट सिनारियो दैट मेनी ऑफ अस फेस ड्यूरिंग टेक्स सीजन द ट्रेडिशनल प्रोसेस ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट कलेक्शन इज हैविली मैनुअल वी आर रिलाइंग ऑन फोन कॉल्स एंडलेस ई मेल्स and sometimes even in person visit to chase down the clients now what does this manual process actually cost us for every single client our staff spends 2 to 3 hours per client on manual collection this isn't just a time issue tracking the status of each client documents is real time is nearly impossible let's zoom on the pain points of manual collection we find ourselves calling and emailing clients over and over and it's frustrating for both of us all these repetitive task requires more staff which increase operational cost monitoring the status of every client document in real time is next to impossible and with so many moving apart's come clients may repeated reminders this can lead to missed deadlines and penalties now what if we could turn this scenario around and what if these pain points can be resolved through automation here i have how i did it With the help of AI ChatGPT, I develop an automation process to digitize, organize, and optimize the documentation. Like I develop three important process: email automation, collection of information through Google Forms, and real-time monitoring of this document submission. Let's break down this into the workflow. Each client will get a personalized email with a secure Google Form links, and this form is designed to guide them step by step. on which documents to be uploaded and how as soon as the client uploads the documents the system updates their status automatically client will receive a notification confirming successful upload and bringing transparency to them what will be the benefit benefit there will be time saving drop by 75% client enjoy faster and more convenient process we gain clear visibility into each client's document status and last centralized approach re uploads reduce the risk and keep sensitive uh, information safer and also we have a strong audit trail honestly before using ai i was a person who does not know about anything about coding and creating an automation it like wo govinda ka gana hai na main angootha chhap padna aur likhna janu na it was like that but yes now i can go i can create a software using chat gpt Let us dive into what I have created. As Raul. you can see, hello. Continue, sir. Continue. Hello. As you can see, this is my uh, tracker ID which I have created, in which the information of client is there. And the second, I have created a Google form which will contain the information questions such as name of the client, full name, email, pen, and upload ITR documents. Then there will be a drive. in which i have created a folder which will automatically collect the document and create a folder in the name of the client let us show how it works i'll just have to press this email button once and as you can see as soon as the script finished i have received a mail that Dear Mr. R. Batra, we are in the process of filing the income tax return and request you to clear upload document. And with this, I have a Google form attached. Google form. So as soon as I click that Google form, it will read my information. First, let me show you one thing. Here you can see in tracker sheet the status of form submission is pending. As soon as client uploads the detail. pen number should match with the right that is a b c d e 2 3 4 5 f
as you can see i have uh, put in the pen in upper case and lower case also deliberately so that my uh, checklist does not contain that error of pen up ca upper case and lower case then i will upload some documents let us upload the photograph of my daughter and And as you can see, the document has been uploaded and I have just have to submit the button form. As soon as the form is submitted, now we can check. I have received a mail that my response has been recorded and what I have uploaded and what I have done. And here, what the magic turns. In my client tracker, I'll get the status as submitted with the date of submission along with the Google folder link. And here in my Google Drive, in this folder, my master folder, there is a folder created by my name and inside that folder, the document are automatically uploaded. So this was AI taught me and I have done this to automate the collection process. Now let me show you how I done it. So this is the step to step process. First, I have told ChatGPT that I want to automate the document collection for ITR filing and this process will automatically send email to client requesting via Google form, create a folder named after each client and store their documents in it, update the client's list, send the reminder. And remember, reminder will be sent to only those whose status is still pending. As you can see here, only those clients will get the reminder whose status in client tracker is still pending. So next time, whenever the mail will go, the next reminder will be for those two. So this is my step from getting a prompt to getting a uh, entire process. I have taken the help of chat GPT. As you can see, I have told chat GPT that I want to automate the process. Can you please give me a prompt? I'm asking from the prompt itself from the chat GPT as if it is, I don't know anything. So as you can see, chat GPT has provided me with the prompt. And with this prompt, these are the steps I have taken to consider the, this automation. Then I have set up the client tracker, which I have shown you ITR 2024 client tracker in which all the list of my clients are mentioned. Then I have designed a Google form where I will collect the information like main name, email, pen, and documents, which are to be uploaded by the clients. And third, I have created a master folder in which I want that the after uploading, the documents are entirely updated in that folder. Then I asked ChatGPT that please provide me an app script to automate the process. And this is what uh, ChatGPT has to offer to me. Then sir, only I have to Rauli, copy last two minutes. Then I have to copy this script and here, the main trick comes in form ITR responses. I have to go to extension app script. Then in the code column, I have to select and paste the entire app script here. Just two important thing I have to note that I have to get the master folder ID and tracker sheet ID. This I will get from this master sheet ID. I will get from here. I will open the folder and I will copy this. This is my master folder ID. And for track responsor sheet, this is my track responsor ID. But I have to make these two changes and entire thing will be automated by chat GPT. And as you can see, for sending mail, I have processed the same figure. And for this, chat GPT has given me a prompt for automatic sending email to the client. This is my script. I have copied this script and I have pasted in this robot. Only one thing I have to change that is the form URL. So this was the entire process. And as soon as I submit the button, my entire automated process has begun. So this was a use case from my side. Uh, thank you, Sumit sir. Thank you, Rahul. Very nicely presented use case and very relevant also because all of us are 
you know, these 2 and fro communication is always available at our office or is always a use case. And uh, very nicely uh, even explained that you have done it with app script and the way you have written is also very nicely exp uh, explained. I have one small question that the PAN number which you said, so is there any validation control that, you know, while putting in the PAN number, it will be matched with that uh, column and then it will sit in the next stage or how is that? Yes, sir, yes, sir. So first time when I tried this script, na, I used only uppercase for the PAN because what instruction you will give to the GPT, na, he will create app script according to that. Then I realized when someone putting the pen number in smaller case, it was not reflecting to be submitted status as you can see. But then I give an instruction to chat GPT that even though anyone submitted pen number in small case or upper case, then you have to identify the pen and you have to make the status to be submitted. So this very, very nice. So it's not case sensitive. It will yes. do yes. it and it will value. As you can see, I can I have. Uh, put in my pen number in a smaller case in this. Yeah, understood, understood. understood. Right? Okay, sir. Thank you so much, Rahul. And I hope everyone on the call would be benefited with this use case. So Thank with you. this, I would request our new, uh, sorry, second